Well, the man accused of killing 32-year-old Jordan Morgan in her home last February was back in court today. The judge setting a trial date for Shannon Gilday. ABC 36's Justin Walker was in Madison County today and joins us with this update. Justin? Yeah, that trial has been set for May 5th, 2025, and today ahead of the court appearance, the Morgan family held a prayer before walking into the courtroom. The last time Gil Day was in court, his attorney, Tom Griffiths, filed two motions, one for improved living conditions and one for visitation rights for Gil Day's mother. Griffith said he was concerned for Gilday's mental health. The judge overruled both of those motions for lack of evidence, and today Griffith says he's still gathering that evidence. The court also ordered Gilday to undergo mental health evaluations at the Kentucky Correctional Psychiatric Center. Griffith's telling ABC 36 that could take months because of a backlog. Griffith also says he doesn't think the case should go to trial. Wesley Morgan, Jordan's father, disagrees. Um, everything about this case that a jury would need to determine, we can determine and we can explain to the court and the Commonwealth. And we should all be on the same page. So in a case like this, we don't need to have the jury come in. The Constitution says spe uh, uh, a speedy trial. We, we have lost, we have lost all semblance to the, to the Constitution as it comes to, to trying people for crimes what that means that means our whole system is impotent now i think that is now gil is due back in court in may for another pre-trial conference for now justin walker abc 36 on your side